Welcome back to Pig and Beef. Today we are going to be smoking a corned beef brisket and some cabbage uh, on our Davy Crockett pellet grill. This is actually a recipe off of uh, Green Mountain Grill's cookbook that comes with the, the Davy Crockett grill. So uh, it's a St. Saint, St. Patrick's Day tradition in our family, so really excited to, to give this a go. Um, we've got about a three and a half pound uh, brisket flat that's been pre-brined. You can pick these up at the grocery store. Um, what you want to do first thing is just run it under some cold water. Anyway, we're going to be using uh, some whole grain mustard to, uh, to coat it with. So put a little bit of that on, kind of rub that in. This just gives it a nice little flavor. You want to get both sides of this. And get the edges too. Okay, so once you've got the once you got the mustard on there, just gonna add in about two cups of water. And this is going to help braise the, the brisket, as well as draw out some more of, of the excess salt that's in there. Uh, once you've done this, uh, it's ready to be put on the smoker, so we're going to go out and put it and throw it on. Okay, so we got this thrown on. Uh, we're setting it at 220 degrees. We're going to smoke it at this for about an hour. Uh, after that, what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to put some vegetables in, we're going to throw in some some cabbage and some red potatoes uh, and then we're going to cover it in some foil uh, so this will be this this part takes about an hour so it's been about an hour we've gone ahead and we put the meat probe in uh, what we've got in here is we've got some red potatoes that have been diced up seasoned with garlic salt and uh, coarse black pepper we've quartered a cabbage I'm going to drizzle this with a, uh, a mixture of butter and garlic salt and the mustard that we put on the on the brisket and probably going to be another uh, couple hours or so the target internal temperature that you're looking for is about 200 degrees in the brisket we are going to wrap it in foil at this point uh, just to cover it and help it braise a little bit better. Uh, like I said, it'll be about uh, about two two more hours, but you're really looking for that internal temperature around 200 degrees. And then also, at this point, you're going to turn the temperature up to 280 degrees. We're uh, right at temperature now. Um, actually took a little bit longer than we thought, so co total cook time's been about four hours. The first hour was uncovered, uh, and then the last three were covered in the foil. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off right now. <laughs> 